Magic tricks are a type of entertainment that employ deception and cunning to make something appear to be achievable. The purpose of a magic trick is to mystify and astound the audience by leading them to believe that the magician possesses special talents or powers. Here are the top five popular magic tricks that have wowed audiences over the years. Number 1. Sawing a person in half. Number 2. Levitation. In a traditional trick, the magician makes it appear as though they or anything else is floating above the earth. Please remember to like, subscribe, and press the notification bell on my video if you enjoyed it before we move on to the next top 5 popular magic tricks that have wowed audiences over the years, so that you will be informed of new videos. Please leave a comment in the comment section if you have any queries or ideas for new topics. Greetings and enjoy the show! Number 3. Disappearing Object The magician typically conceals an object in their hand or a hidden compartment before making it vanish in front of the audience. Number 4. Card Tricks Although there are innumerable card tricks, some of the most well-known involve the magician showing a specific card from the deck or making a card vanish and then reappear in an unexpected place. A really cool uh, vanish technique uh, that's really well suited for close-up environments. So this is based off of the back technique, which we taught uh, a few years ago. I'll link to that video on screen here, I think it's me, and in the description box down below. Um, you know, typically back back is the idea of taking a card and making it vanish. And uh, it's done by very quickly pulling a card behind your hand. Okay, but first I like to go for the full details on how this works. I'm not going to cover it in depth now. I'm going to show you how you can use this in a close-up setting. Because typically, back is done in kind of stage setting with your arm uh, kind of up to your side, maybe you can show over here. Back is normally done like this, right? But by bringing it down here, now you can do it at a close environment for someone who's standing right in front of you. And uh, it just works out really nicely. So as far as it goes, you do need to be comfortable with getting a card in back position, so make sure you know how to do that. Uh, but the nice thing about this, this method right here is you can do it very slowly. You don't need to be able to do it super quick like you normally do, um, because you're going to be using your other hand as cover. So you're going to be holding the cards in this position right here, and um, with your left hand, you're going to come over and cover the entirety of the card, kind of like so. Okay? Now here's what's happening under the cover. So as I cover my hand, now I can very slowly, you know, pretend like this is a... Actually, wonder if we can get it under. Yeah, let's try right now. Right, so tell you what. Yes, let's just try it. Um, so basically, what's happening is as I cover the card like this, that's when I reach across, I get my first finger in my pinky position, and then I can do this as slow as I want because I have all the card in the world. I'm simply going to take the card into back position as my left hand runs across, and uh, and then you're going to do this hand washing technique. So we'll cover the hand washing technique next. But first, you want to get very comfortable with getting into that back position under the cover of your left hand. So like this, and like this. Okay, let's get back to that. Okay, so we'll backtrack real quick. You've covered the card with your opposite hand. You've taken the card into that palm position. Now let's talk about hand washing motion. Uh, now, you know, this is kind of flexible. You can kind of do it in your style. Here's what I like to do. I like to make my left hand look uh, a little bit uncomfortable, a little bit uh, with a little bit of tension. I want people to think that I'm pulling the card in my left hand. So then I come across, and then I turn over, and boom, that's like a surprise factor right there. So we'll that. And then I'm going to do this a little bit of hand washing to demonstrate that both of my hands are empty. Okay, so back here, I do the palm, and then as I turn my hand over, here's a little finesse point. Pay attention to my right thumb. I'm going to be doing this. Just a tiny little detail, but it really makes a hand washing gesture quite nice. So like this, hand wash. I show over display both hands. And then for the production, you have a number of options. Uh, here's one. As I turn my hand back palm down, all I'm doing is the standard back palm production. SSD, double edges, like that. It's pretty good. Another one which makes it look like a card is literally shooting out from your hands is once you get into um, the position, you show both your hands, you fold your hands like this, 
and then I'm going to be doing a production at my fingertips. So it should look like a out in between my hands, even though I just show both my hands. Okay. Again, the, the production aspect is the exact same technique that we covered in the standard back form tutorial, so we'll refer to that again for the technique on production. It's really just the reverse of the vanish. Uh, but this is just a neat idea that you guys can play around with doing the, the back form vanish in a close up setting using both hands to create a really visual and magical vanish of a single card. So hope you enjoy that, and I'll see you in the next video. Number 5 Escape Acts These are daring feats where the magician is handcuffed, shackled, or otherwise restrained and must escape from their bindings within a set amount of time. Untuk memberikan rasa aman pada diri saya, akan ada horn yang akan berbunyi tiga kali. Yang pertama, di saat saya siap melakukan aksi saya. Dan yang kedua, di saat kereta mulai berjalan. Dan yang ketiga, di saat kereta menabrak bola dan masuk ke dalam jalurnya. Karena saya tidak akan pernah tahu berapa lama yang dibutuhkan bola tersebut hingga jatuh menekan tombol. Dan resiko yang terjadi apabila saya tidak dapat lepas pada waktunya, Anda semua bisa bayangkan. So, pastikan Anda menjadi saksi dari sejarah malam ini. Magic tricks come in a wide variety of styles, including close-up, stage, and street magic. Close-up magic involves performing tricks immediately in front of the audience while being performed in a small, private setting, typically with just a few individuals. Stage magic, on the other hand, is usually done in a theater or on a larger stage and includes elaborate illusions than props. Street magic is a style of magic that is frequently interactive with the audience and is done in public areas like parks or sidewalk mirrors or secret compartments to give the impression that something is happening. Regardless of the type of trick, the key to a successful magic performance is to keep the audience engaged and guessing until the very end. Know of the trick. The secret to an effective magic show is to keep the audience guessing right up to the very end. Please remember to like, subscribe, and press the notification bell on my video if you enjoyed it. Please leave a comment in the comment section if you have any queries or ideas for new topics. Thanks for watching.